Welcome back to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in the digital infrastructure world. It's been a busy PTC, as you can see, my voice is just now deciding to give, to give out here. Most opportune timing. I, I'm sitting here right now with Bruce Garrison of Bandwidth IG. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Keely, for having me. Yeah. Uh, looking forward to a, a brief discussion. Yeah, absolutely. So um, before we dive into things and probably the most important question, have you had any time to enjoy a little bit of Hawaii because we're in beautiful Honolulu here at PTC? Um, in 10 years of being at PTC, my feet have never touched sand. Okay, well, you'll have to change that so, this trip, yeah, hopefully. It's, it's pretty pitiful. I should actually try, try to find a way to change this that. This is the trip. It's going to happen. All right, well, let's dive into the reason why we're here and um, we work very near and dear with Bandwidth IG, so we know this to be a fact. You had a really big and exciting announcement about your San Francisco Bay Area network this week. Tell us a little about that. Yeah, we, uh, we, um, we announced uh, a very, very big project that is at the very, very final stages. The majority of the heavy lifting's been complete uh, and will finish over the next three to four months. Uh, that project is a a large fiber infrastructure investment in the San Francisco Bay Area, going from downtown San Francisco all the way uh, to Great Oaks. It is a project that it's taken three years to complete. The complexity, the permitting, the the government agencies we had to work for, with through for it uh, was a very daunting process, and it was it's been a, a great success. Um, and it is something that's going to change fiber infrastructure in the San Francisco Bay Area uh, for the next decades. And we are proud, excited, and the next, day, the next step is letting the market reap the benefits of all this work that we've put in. Absolutely. There's a really cool element of this project that, that you're not getting to just yet, so let's get to that. Um, it includes one of the first subsea routes that's built under the Bay Area in quite some time, several decades, uh, which is quite significant, um, but also not something that's easy to, to do. So can you tell us a little bit about why you wanted to tackle it in that way and how it will help customers? Yeah, so our business is we build large amounts of fiber infrastructure. Uh, no other services on top of that, that's up to the customer, but we build fiber infrastructure to data centers. The Bay Area is a large uh, data center market and there is a lack of infrastructure available in the Bay Area to support all the digital technologies of cloud, AI, and everything in the future to come that um, that we're not, we're not even aware about yet. And the, the, the marine cable is the probably most complex part and the one that we uh, can be most proud of. So we put uh, large amounts of fiber on the San Francisco Bay floor, uh, um, work with all the governing entities uh, to accomplish that up to the requirement that they, they had. And this is so unique, one, because in 20 some odd, two, two decades, more than two decades, no one's put a, uh, a cable on the, on the Bay floor to a lot of the cables today, fiber cables traverse the bridges uh, or, or the BART. Uh, they, they don't have the same amount of capacity as what we just installed uh, in, the, in the bay. It connects a complete ring into the markets that we just that I, I, I had mentioned. And it is going to allow the Bay Area to continue to be a premier market for data center activity as, as more power becomes available, more expansion can happen. And that fiber that we just put in the ground or under the bay uh, is a critical component to the market being able to continue to be a, a big uh, data center hub on the West Coast. Yeah. Well, congratulations. I know that's not an easy feat. It, uh, I, our, our team did an amazing job. Super proud of them uh, and super thankful to have them because it. The, I explained it several times that uh, our operations and construction team makes hard things not look hard. So it's uh, really proud of that uh, group for what they accomplished. Yeah, sounds like a, a new good tagline for, for the company there, yeah. Possibly. Well, let's give a little bit of love to um, Greater Atlanta in the Hillsborough area where you've got a network and then also, um, or sorry, Greater Atlanta and then the Hillsborough area of Portland. Yep. Um, so what uh, what's happening with those two networks? And so our other two markets today 
are the greater Atlanta area. Uh, and then we're also in Hillsboro. It's, it is the same to expect on different scales. Georgia, obviously, or greater Atlanta, it's just a bigger market, a lot of data center activity. So you will see us building uh, more and more this year. We will double our network size over the next couple of years. We're really excited about Georgia. There's a lot of ingredients that are just making it a great market for us. Uh, and again, another one, the, the density of the infrastructure we're putting in the ground doesn't exist. So it's a necessity for the market. And Hillsborough is the same. It's a smaller market to start with uh, in terms of route mileage. But we will continue to build. Uh, spent plenty of uh, meetings while here talking about building more. So we'll uh, continue our, our business. will continue to put capital to work and put it on the ground in the markets that need it. And those are those two. You will continue to see more expansion. The the, the largest piece of that will be uh, in the Atlanta area. But even if we're not done yet in the Bay Area. We'll continue to add mileage in the Bay Area as well. Outside of just this. 300 mile project that we're uh, completing now. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what what else should we know about bandwidth IG that we're maybe not asking right now? What else would you like our viewers to know? Yeah, uh, we're, we're at PTC. We're there's data center operators, hyperscalers, carriers. And what we are is really unique. We're not a carrier. We're an infrastructure provider. And I, I've said this a hundred times already, what we're doing today and what we're putting in the ground does not exist. And it's a necessity for okay. the digital economy and for data center operators. And it, the, the infrastructure is purpose built for uh, the most demanding consumers of fiber and bandwidth. And it's just because it's not tangible, it's underground, it's 100% underground, it's, it probably doesn't get the understanding and thought that these big shiny new data centers do and see them and walk in them. But um, it's really proud of the organization because it's just a foundational piece of the internet that you can't see you can't touch it unless you're in the construction process. Uh, and so it is, it, it's just unique and we're an infrastructure provider, not a carrier. And we feel this little niche here in this industry uh, and it's exciting to see what our customers are doing with it with the infrastructure we put in the ground. Yeah, absolutely. And, and we're here at a, a conference where we're hearing a lot about AI no. and the rise of that. And of course, the AI doesn't come without the fiber and the data center. So it's definitely a critical piece of enabling all of the cool things coming down the pike. Yeah, one hundred percent. The uh, the fastest car in the world doesn't go anywhere without the highway, and we're we're building new highways. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and anything else that we can look forward to in 2024 or just stay tuned? You can look forward to more construction in the markets that we're in. We are considering another, other markets as well. Maybe the next inter, uh, JSA TV interview we have, we can uh, announce one of those. Yeah. We're not still under the consideration phase for those. And um, But again, the biggest thing is more infrastructure, uh, more new fiber in the ground, and that won't change uh, for the foreseeable future. All right, good stuff. Well, thank you very much for your time here. We appreciate it, and uh, I hope you've got a moment to go and find that sand yeah. before the end of tomorrow, the end of PTC. Uh, thanks again, Bruce, for joining us. Thanks, Kelly. Appreciate it. All right, and to our viewers, thanks for tuning in, and stay connected.